today, we're going to do a double unboxing. We're going to do the Geek Gear Wizardry November monthly subscription box, and then we're going to do Cherry Wallace's Curation of Magical Curiosities Christmas Edition. Okay, so for those of you who have been here before and seen me do unboxings, welcome back. For those of you that are new, welcome. The Geek Gear Wizardry box, like I said, is a monthly subscription. And if there's any house-related items in there, they will be Ravenclaw. And then this is Cherry's second box that she's come out with. She did regular curation of magical curiosities I, I, earlier this year. I believe it might have been July. I'm not sure. Um, and she came out with a Christmas one. And I didn't get the July one, and I'm kind of kicking myself for it because she had some really great items in there. So I didn't want to miss out on the... Um, Christmas box and this is the larger ones so there were two different sizes there was the regular and I think it was mega um, so this is the bigger one so I believe it has four additional items that are more than what would be in the regular box so we're going to go ahead and open the geek gear wizardry November box first and then we'll get into cherry's box Okay, so the November Geek Gear box, traditionally, at least the last couple of years that I've been subscribing to it, they have made it a holiday-themed box, or it's at least had a decent amount of holiday items in there. So um, I'm really excited to see what they put in here. I'm hoping it's better than the last couple boxes, because if not, I may end up actually ending my subscription with them, but we'll see. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, normally these boxes have a shirt, and it's normally like right on top. I don't see one just off the initial peak, so I'm thinking maybe they don't have a shirt in this one, which is kind of interesting because I can't tell you the last time we didn't have a shirt in the box. So um, first thing I see here is a tube, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out first. Oop, it's a piece of art, I think. Ooh, it feels like one of the pictures that's usually by Kevin Cantwell. Let's see. Okay. And I am right. It is by Kevin, and he does amazing artwork for them. And they're on these; they're printed on these really amazing sheets of paper that kind of feel like a watercolor or pastel sheet. And his pieces of art are just stunning. And this is so cute. So it's like the divination ball with Harry and Ron, but it's got a Christmas tree in the background and a little Christmas scene with Santa in there. And that is really cute and very different. I really like that. Super, super cute for the holidays. Uh, okay, good start to the box. So let's see what else we have in here. Oh, looks like we got a beanie, and it says Accio Christmas. Okay, I don't mind that. I know some of the past years um, that we've gotten beanies, they've said, like, you're a wizard and things like that. And then we had a Ravenclaw one that was really bad coloring. It was almost purple. But, um, but yeah, this one's not bad. It's different. It's a subtle nod to Harry with the Accio on there. I could see myself wearing this. I don't wear a ton of beanies, but yeah, that's cute. Okay. And it looks like we have another, I don't know if it's a wearable. Oh. Oh, it's a little pygmy puff. Okay, let me get this out of here. Okay, so it is a pillow case cover. And we've gotten some of these before, and it's kind of a weird material that they printed them on. Um, I can't say it's... It's not hard, but it's not soft either. I don't really know how to explain it. It looks burlap-y, but it, it's not burlap. But yeah, it's got a little pink pygmy puff. And for those of you who have been here with me for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of pink. But this is cute, and I'm going to guess they put this in the box because Luna tells Ginny that they've been known to sing on Boxing Day. And while we don't have Boxing Day here in the United States, I know it's close to Christmas, I think, or in between what we have for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this is kind of cute. Might be cute for my niece or someone like that, but yeah, that's cute. Ooh, okay. Oh, I think I grabbed a couple of things here. So, okay, we have the tea. I'll put this down for a second. And again, I'm kind of hoping that maybe they do something other than tea come January for the new year, but this one is Magical Festivities Tea, and it's Festive Roibos, I think. It looks like... I think that says rooibos. Not sure. Infusion. Okay, so it looks like it has rooibos. Again, I don't know what that is. Cinnamon, blackberry leaves, orange blossom, flavoring, safflower petals, clove buds, cardamom seeds, and ginger extract. So I'm going to guess this is a very spicy tasting um, tea. So yeah. All right. Really cute packaging. We'll have to see what this one tastes like. 
Oh, we got our little card here. Let me scratch this off. And again, we got no win, better luck next time. All right, so these, I think, are Christmas cards because they usually include some Christmas cards in here, so I'm really excited because I think I see Dobby. Yes, and it looks like Kevin Cantwell might have made these too. Oh, this is so cute. So we've got Dobby holding a little stocking, and it has a D on it like Mrs. Weasley might have made it for him. Okay, that's adorable. And it's blank on the inside. It's just got little cauldrons, so that's really cute. And it has a little red envelope. Oh, it looks like they gave us two of them. That's cool. So we can keep one and give one away. And then, oh my gosh, it's a little Niffler. And he's stealing the little gold bells. Okay, that's adorable. And again, this is by Kevin as well. This is so stinking cute. I love that so much because you guys know I have an affinity for the Niffler. And again, it's just blank on the inside. That is so cute. I definitely want to frame these. These are really cute. And it looks like we, again, have a second one. So that's really cool. I like that they include some of these magical Christmas cards because it's really hard to find Harry Potter-themed Christmas cards. You almost have to make them yourself. Um, okay, let's see what the, we've got in here. Hmm. Okay, we've got a little box. It almost looks like it has, like, square pumpkins on it. I don't think those are gift boxes. I think those are pumpkins. And let's see what's in here. Which this is the November box, so, you know, it's not that far out of the realm to have something with pumpkins on it. What is this? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's one of the snail shells, like Hermione throws at... I think this is like the one that Hermione threw at Harry's head in Prisoner of Azkaban when they were trying to sneak out Bug Peak. Yeah, that's, um, really, it's really big. I kind of wish it was, like, maybe just this size, because I feel like it would have been more accurate. And I also wish the back wasn't flat. I kind of wish they would have made it 3D, like it was truly a throwing, you know, snail shell. But, yeah, that's really cool. Very different. All right. Oh, I've got the cheat sheet. I'll set this off to the side. And it looks like we got a piece of art. Which, without the tissue, is really hard to get out of the box. Okay. The ones that love us never really leave us. You can always find them in here. Okay. Thank you for not being a pink and purple piece of art. I love this quote. I kind of wish the heart would have been down here because I feel like it's kind of weird to loop back up to the in here. But I love this. I love this quote. So cool. Okay, so I like that a lot. Oh, I think there's another item in the box here. Let's see. Oh, we got a little pin. Huh. Not entirely sure what that is. I thought it was maybe an owl or something at first, but I don't think so. Okay, I'll be interested to see what the cheat sheet says about this. Let me take it out of the plastic. Okay, so there it is. It's a really pretty enamel pin, and it's got, you know, the nice little rhinestones on there. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. We'll have to see what it says. Let me make sure that is it. Yes, I think it is. So let's go ahead. And open the cheat sheet. Okay, so this is the November 2019 box, as I said, and this has the licensed and exclusive Love Us print. This is a Warner Brothers um, licensed print, so that's cool. The exclusive snail throwing stone, so I was right, that is what that is supposed to be. And then the exclusive festive artwork designed by artist Kevin Cantwell. Exclusive McGonagall brooch. Okay, so this must, I feel like her brooch wasn't that colorful maybe i'm wrong i'll have to check i'll insert a picture of her brooch here so yeah um okay the exclusive pygmy cushion cover the exclusive festive greeting cards again designed by kevin cantwell and the exclusive festive beanie and then the monthly tea oh 
it says basilisk blood again, but that's not what it was. That's what that was last month. This one is a magical festive tea. So, um, looks like the YouTube spotlight is the wild Sasha, and next month's hint is Felix Felicis, which is interesting because they've already given us a Felix Felicis bottle. Um, so yeah, kind of curious what that is, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you think I should? Keep the subscription. I feel like this box was decently strong. I'm not a huge fan of the pillow cushion just because I won't use it. But I do love the art pieces by Kevin Cantwell. I love the cards he created. Um, the throwing stone snail is kind of cool. Um, I, again, I wish it was a little bit smaller, but it is cool. And the beanie's not bad. So I, it's kind of a mixed, mixed box for me. I feel like uh, the pieces by Kevin Cantwell were amazing and then I, I do like the little snail throwing stone even though it is a little large but the rest of it was just okay so let me know in the comments down below what do you think do you guys think I should keep the subscription should I cancel it um yeah I'll be curious to see what you guys say so let's go ahead and get into Cherry's box okay so as I said um Cherry did have one other box and then uh she decided to come out with this Christmas one and I feel like there's not an amazing amount of Christmas items that get put in these boxes. So I'm excited to see what she put in here. Um, she definitely decorated it up with some of the Owl Post little stickers on there. Um, so yeah, let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. So right on top, there's a cute little Happy Christmas Neville sheet. So that's really cute. I feel like, I feel like I've seen images of this maybe from the Warner Brothers Studio tour. I'm not sure. Okay, it says, Dear friend, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Ever since the World Cup, the ministry has been intercepting more and more owls, and she's too easily recognized. Serious Black. That reminds me, did you feed the owl upon arrival? I definitely did. It's quite cold this winter, and it's flown quite the journey to get to you. I can't believe the festive season has arrived. It's the most wonderful time of the year, don't you think? This year has been filled with such magic and our community is thriving. Our wizarding world has some of the most incredible, passionate, and kind-hearted wizards and witches within it. And I'd like to say a huge thank you for all of your support with the curation of Magical Curiosities this year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very magical New Year. Always Cherry. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I like, I really love this. So let's see what else we've got. Okay. Oh, there's a little package here. And she's got little festive wiggly worms. Okay, so we've got a little package. And it's wrapped in like a gray plastic. And then it's got this little purple bow on it. So that's cute. It was nice that they took the time to wrap it like that. Oh, it's a Weasley scarf. Okay, that's adorable. So it is a scarf like Mrs. Weasley made for Fred and George. I love that. Super cute. And it looks like it's hand knit. I mean, this looks totally like Mrs. Weasley made it. And it was wrapped even kind of similar to how she wrapped it too. Super cute. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Oh, there's a little box here. Oh, it's got little flying keys and golden snitches and snowflakes and a little red bow. That's really cute. Be careful not to rip this. I want to maybe reuse this box. Oh, it's a little flying key ornament. Hang on. We know how much Cherry loves flying keys. Okay, that's super cute. Let me hold it up so you guys can see it. Very cute. I'm hoping I can get the wings to kind of separate a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Very cute. Okay, neat. Can't wait to put that on my Christmas tree. And for those of you who didn't see my Christmas tree last year, I'll put a card up here at the top so you can see that. Ooh, we've got a bubble wrap package, and I think I see Yule Ball print on here. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely a little 
Yule Ball something. This box, again, is super cute. Something's kind of poking out of the top. So let's see what we got. Oh, oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is one of the jars. See if I can put, oh, it's glass even, that's cool. Okay, very cute. So it's got a little holographic snowflake on here and the blue bottom. And then it has a little pumpkin stopper. Super cute. Okay, I can't wait to put that on my shelf and maybe put some kind of potion in there. Okay. So far, really good start to the box. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, there's a little crown on there. That's cute. Maybe it's something to do with Ron. Let's see, because Weasley is our king. <laughs> it's definitely to do with Ron. Oh, it's a little piece of the wizard chess. That is so cute. And it's out of like a resin, but it feels like it's carved. That is super, super cute. Hopefully it doesn't start bashing other items like it does the wizarding chest. Super cute. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's see. Another little box in here. And this one just kind of looks like Alpost. Yep, it says Alpost service. What is this? Oh, I think we got to remember all. Yeah, okay, so we got Neville's Remember All. Super cute. I kind of wish it opened so you could maybe put some red smoke in there or something. But that's really neat. It is plastic, so it won't break. But yeah, that's really cute. Very different. And you don't really don't see many remember all replicas. So very cool. Okay. Ooh, we've got a bigger box. And it says, Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. Okay, super cute. This box feels really nice too. It's like made out of really nice material. Oh, it's a little, they're gloves. Oh my gosh, and it's Harry and Ron. Okay, that is super cute. It's like the little sweaters that Mrs. Weasley knits. Super cute. Okay, those are really, really clever. Very cute. Oh, oh, we have a pin. Of course we have a pin. Cherry loves pins. Oh, cute. So it's a little Hogwarts wreath, and it's got a golden snitch on it, and a little... Lightning bolt, let me get out of the plastic. Okay, that is a really, really cute pin. So it has a colored stone for each house. And then there's little lightning bolts and the Deathly Hallows. That is super cute. And I love the enamel that's on here where you can kind of see through some of the detail to the bottom. Really cute. Okay, love that pin. I think we got a Chudley Cannons. Yeah, we got a little Chudley Cannons placard banner pendant. Really cute. So obviously that's Ron's favorite Quidditch team. That's really cute. Yeah, that's a really nice thick felt that it's put on. And then they printed Chudley Cannons on there. And there is a room here for you to put a stick so you could actually make it like a pennant flag that you could have on a stick like at a Quidditch game. Super cute. Okay. What is this? Let's see. Okay, so it's a little envelope. And it's... I love that little slit for the seal. That's cool. And it's... I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of an opalescent, pearlized envelope. It's very pretty. Oh, cool. Okay, it's a Yule Ball invitation. 
that is really pretty. I love the gold foiling. <laughs> Yule Ball. And it says... Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, together with the Ministry of Magic, request the pleasure of your company at the Yule Ball to celebrate Christmas and the Triwizard Tournament. And it has the Hogwarts and Ministry logo. And then it says, to be held at 1900 hours, Christmas Day at the Great Hall Hogwarts School. At 2130 hours, the, tra the traditional champions waltz, strictly dressed to impress. Okay. This is a really cool replica. I love that. Very, very pretty. Okay, well done. So far, this box has definitely not disappointed. Okay, so I think there's just a piece of art in here, and then we have our tube that also came with it, because normally it's just the box, but um, yeah, there was a tube in the little black plastic that um, comes to us. Oh, Oh, it's a little howler piece of art. So there's definitely a Ron vibe to this box um, and the Weasleys in general, but there's a lot of Ron-related items, so I feel like this Howler is super cute. That's really cute, and it looks like it's watercolor. I wonder if, if Cherry painted this. Very cute. Okay. It's a little bent. Mine's a little bent down here, but that's okay. Framing, it'll get rid of that. Okay, and this is the cheat sheet, and I'm going to wait until I open the tube. So let's see what's in here. And I feel like she did um, a collaboration with Muggle Magic, so I'm wondering if this is something he created. So maybe it's a book cover, kind of like he did for the Accio boxes, but maybe it's like a Christmas theme. Okay, unless he made the invitation, which he might have created that. Let's see. Let me get this out of the tube. Okay. Oh, it's a Yule Ball poster. Okay, that's super cute. It says, at the first wand stroke, lead your partner to the dance floor. At the second wand stroke, Yule beverage will be served. At the third wand stroke, Yule feast will be served. At the fourth wand stroke, witch and wizard of the ball will be announced. At the fifth wand stroke, Yule parade of wand skills. And at the sixth wand stroke, final Yule dance, then good night to all our very special guests. Strictly dressed to impress, see Professor McGonagall for details. Very cute. Love that. I have a feeling this is what Danny made. And this is printed on a really lovely paper. So, okay. I think that's everything. Let me double check. Yeah. So let's go over the cheat sheet. So again, this is the Maxima box. And it has the Molly Weasley knitted scarf. It says, have you ever wanted to be a Weasley designed to look like the one given to Fred and George during Christmas dinner at number 12 Grimwald Place in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Now you can feel like part of the family. Flying key ornament. The flying keys from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone are some of my favorite props. You can adorn your Christmas tree with our very own flying key. No broomstick required to catch it. What would this time of the year be without all of the festive decorations? Oh, and did you spot the Deathly Hallows symbol? I did not. Oh, it's on the key itself. Right there. Super cute. Wizard's chess piece. The moment I first discovered Wizard's chess, I really wanted to play a game. This is a replica of one of the queen pieces you see Harry and Ron playing with at Christmas in 1991. And it says, that's totally barbaric, and that's Wizard's chess. So that's super cute. Howler artwork. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I really enjoyed painting my Mandrake artwork from my previous box, so I thought I'd do another one this time. I've always been incredibly fond of Howlers, though I'm sure Ron would disagree. So it is a piece created by Cherry, so that's very cool. Remember All. Don't worry if your Remember All hasn't turned red. It just indicates that you haven't forgotten anything. We can't all be as forgetful as Neville. This is a particularly useful magical artifact with some pretty remarkable powers that I wanted you to have one for when you enter the new year. Start off your year organized and make Hermione proud. Keep this item out of muggle hands and definitely keep it away from Draco Malfoy. 
And then Chudley Cannon's Quidditch team flag. Show your support for one of the best Quidditch teams out there. Well, according to Ron, at least. This flag was designed to look like the one proudly displayed in the Gryffindor boys' dormitory next to Ron's bed. What Quidditch team would you support? And then we have the Yule Ball Invitation, designed by Danny from Muggle Magic. This stunning Yule Ball Invitation is one of my favorite paper replicas. It has been an amazing honor to have such a talented wizard work inside this box. And I'm so excited to be able to share it with you all. Not only is there gold foiling, there's silver too. Nifflers are definitely going to want to steal this, so keep it safe. Do you have your dress robes or dress ready? So it Okay, so the invitation was created by Danny, and he is super talented, so... Well done, Danny. And then we have the Hogwarts wreath enamel pin, Merlin's beard. This is another stunning hard enamel pin designed by one of my favorite witches, Amelia. Wear your house pride this season with this pin that encompasses all Hogwarts houses within a beautiful festive wreath. Oh, and Ginny dear, I'm awfully sorry, but my quill must have cursed last time. Oh, and Ginny dear, I'm awfully sorry, but my quill must have been cursed last time as I previously spelt Amelia's Instagram wrong. If you'd like to check out Amelia's magical artwork, you can find her at Instagram.com backslash Amelia underscore B83. And then we had the Yule Ball bottle. Did you see how luxurious the Yule Ball was in 1984? I don't know about you, but I certainly wanted to be there. Around the towering ice sculpture, there was glass pumpkin juice bottles, and I've always thought how brilliant they looked with a collection of Wizarding World items. Do you think you'd like pumpkin juice? I'm personally not so sure I'd like it. Maybe I need to make some to find out. Well, I have made some, and it's delicious. Um, And I also made a prop version for those of you who don't like pumpkin. And then we have... Harry and Ron Christmas Gloves. The knitted jumpers that Molly Weasley made for Harry and Ron are iconic. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince her to knit you all a jumper. She's already got her hands full having to look after all the Weasleys. But I hope these Molly-inspired gloves will keep your hands warm this winter. And then the Yule Ball poster. Another magical treat that has been designed by Danny from Muggle Magic DIY. Okay, so, so Danny did create both of them, so that's very cool. I loved the Yule Ball invitation so much that I couldn't resist including more of Danny's work. Add a little more festive magic to your home this festive season. Okay, so yeah, very strong box. Some really cool replicas that really you don't find out there. Um, I love this Yule Ball pumpkin juice bottle. It's very pretty. And I can't wait to fill it with something. Maybe I'll do a uh, blue swirly potion in there or something. But yeah, very, very cool. And this chess piece is really different too. Love that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, um, honestly, there's very few things in here that I dislike. I think the my least favorite item in the box is probably the Chudley Cannons poster, but it's really, I mean, it's cool too. So well done, Cherry. I think this is another great box, and um, I'll definitely be signing up for her next one if she ends up uh, coming out with another Curations of Magical Curiosity. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.